Good morning, everyone. Hope all is well. My apologies for the lack of shiurim the last several days. I've been traveling out of town, and Baruch Hashem, I'm back now. I want to share with you today a beautiful insight into the Yom of the holiday which we are celebrating called Tu Bishvat, the 15th day in the month of Shvat, which is known as the Chag Ha'ilanot, the Festival of the Trees a day in which HaKadosh Baruch is looking down and judging for the rest of the year the fruits and the beauty and the splendor and the, and the produce that all of the trees that are fruit-bearing are going to produce for us in the up-and-coming year. And there are two amazing facts that are really astounding when a person thinks about it that relate to the trees and then we'll see how they relate to us as well. Number one, we know that the tree is made up of three main parts. There's the roots, there's the trunk in the middle, and then if it's a fruit-bearing tree, there are the branches, the leaves, and the beautiful, delicious fruits that it will eventually bear. The roots themselves grow in a very unique way. They don't just grow on their own based on how they want to grow. They grow based upon the needs of the tree itself. If the tree finds itself in a climate that is dry and arid and very hot and it needs nutrients, it needs water, the roots have an innate ability, almost like an intellect of their own, to dig deeper and deeper down into the ground to go and find the water sources so that it can be supplied with the sustenance and the nutrients of that which the tree requires. If there are a lot of winds, or heavy rains, or frost, or difficult conditions for the tree to deal with, the roots know how to spread themselves out, go deeper where they need to, reach other areas with more nutrients and minerals and vitamins that are necessary for it, to latch itself into the ground in a very strong and secure way to make sure that no matter what kind of winds are blowing that way towards that tree, it will never be able to move the tree from its place. And so too, in times when the conditions are beautiful and they are perfect, exactly what the tree needs, the right amount of rain, the right amount of sun, the temperature is exactly right, the roots know how to sit and to settle where they are and just be able to bask in the temperate climate that the tree is finding itself in so perfectly. What does that mean? That means that the roots are interconnected to the growth and the success and the productivity of the tree. Man is called an eight. We are compared to a tree because we too have roots. And our roots are really, as the Maharal writes, our roots are in Shemayim, in the heavens, connected to the Rebbe Nishayim, the master of the universe, to his Torah and to his mitzvahs. And our roots will take roots, so to speak, they will be grounded, and they will be fortified, and they will be deep based upon the kind of a life that we are leading here in this world. Some of us have lives of peace and tranquility, where things seem to go beautifully well. Our learning is good, our tefillah, our prayers are good, nachas from the children is exactly what we would expect it to be. Parnasa, our livelihood goes along just fine with enough money in the bank to pay all of our bills and then some. Health is beneficial and positive. We don't have too many aches and pains and we're not going to the doctor taking medications and pills. Everything seems to be going well. In that case, the roots are settling into the ground just exactly in the right place. Sometimes there is heat, there's tension, there is stress, there is the fires of machlekes, unfortunately, of arguments, the fires of people that are against us, the fires of the pressures and the stress that there is in this world. And then it's hard to sustain ourselves. There's a lot going on in our lives then when they take those roots that we have in our Hashem, in our Torah, in our mitzvahs, in our midas, in our character, and it deepens and it goes in and finds new sources of water to give us the vibrancy and the spiritual health and wellness that we need. And then of course there are the rains 
and the stormy times in a person's life. Those are the challenges, the nisyayna is the test that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends to everyone in every day that we go through in our lives, some of them more intense than others. And the winds are blowing at us and trying to shake us from our place. But at that point, the roots go deep, deep down and they take root and they hold on tight and firm in order to make sure that whatever nisyanus, whatever challenges are blowing our way, it's not going to move us from our faith, from our belief, from our trust, and from our dedication to a lifetime of Avodis Hashem, of the service that we have of God. And the other interesting fact about the trees to take note is they have discovered over the years that trees actually never stop growing. They might stop reaching a height, and that's going to be it, 40 feet, 50 feet, 120 feet. But on the trunk area, the width of that tree continues to get wider and broader each and every day and every year. The rings of an older tree on the trunk and the bark are much greater and much wider and much more dense than they are on a younger tree. Which means in the beauty of how Kaddish Baruch has set up this natural world, that means to say that the tree itself never ever stops growing. So too a human being has to remember our job in this world is never ever stop growing. No matter how old, no matter how young, no matter how healthy or sick or rich or poor or bright or not or experienced or not experienced, it doesn't matter. What matters to every one of us is that we realize we were placed in this world to grow and to soar and to expand our horizons and ruchnius and spiritual desires and growth and abilities that we all have inside of ourselves. So if we take these two beautiful lessons from the tree, number one is the tremendous roots that go based upon what the tree itself is going through, then we will examine our lives and we will see how fortified and how deep and how strong and how powerful the roots that we have in Hashem, in our Torah, in our Amunah, in our mitzvahs can be. And number two, just as the tree never really stops growing, may we ourselves never ever stop growing in the world of ruchnis, of spirituality, in the world of mitzvahs, of character development, of working and perfecting ourselves and trying every day to get a little bit bigger and get closer to Hashem. So may we, we wish a happy birthday to the trees, the Chag Ha'ilanot, the festival of the trees, but we use it as a way to inspire ourselves to realize that just like Adam eats HaSadah, that man is a tree of the field, that may we learn these lessons, increase our roots, continue to grow, and in that way be a tremendous nachas to the Rebbein HaSha'ilam. Wishing everybody a wonderful day and Be'ez Hashem we shall continue our learning of our Svarim tomorrow Ameshiv Nefesh and Kitzur Shulchan Aruch all of the best